I already have a start on this row of text boxes using UIKit's panel feature. This div is my row div with the UK grid class and the width classes for the columns applied to the row. Now I need to add headings, icons, and styling for those boxes. I'll add H3 headings with a class of UK panel title for the column headings. You can adjust the styles for the heading in your app.css file. I'd also like to add some spacing above the boxes, between the boxes and the slideshow. So this is the app.css file. The text boxes begin in that main content div. So I can get the spacing by adding a padding top to that div. And then the class on those headings was UK panel title. So I'm setting the font size, font weight, and I am going to make all those headings uppercase using a text transform style. There's another feature that works with the UI kit panels, and that's the badges. Create a div with the class UK badge. You can use badges anywhere, but there's a special class that works with the panels. So you also add that UK panel badge class. And then to change the coloring, you have the three classes, UK badge success, UK badge warning, or UK badge danger. So I'm using the success coloring there. And what that does is position the badge in the top right corner of the panel. UIKit makes it easy to add font awesome icons to a page. So I use that to add the icons to the left of the headings in those panels. The list of available icons can be found at the bottom of this documentation page on the getuikit.com website. So there are quite a few of these. What you'll need to have is the name associated with the icon that you want to use. So for the first one, I'm going to use this pencil square icon. You insert the icons by using an I tag with a class that is equal to UK hyphen icon hyphen, and then you use the name. Here you can see the icon. By default, they're very small. UIKit offers three classes to modify the size of those icons, a small, medium, and large. This is the default size with no size class added, and that's actually smaller than the small class. So let's try a medium class, UK icon medium. So again, you could also use a small there or a large in place of the medium. And there we see a larger icon at the medium size. Now I'll adjust the CSS so I get some spacing between the icon and the heading. What I've done is create a class here, icon heading, that I'll add to any of those icons that I want to appear to the left of the headings. And I've changed the color and added a right margin. And now I have to add that class to the icon. You see the change in color and then the spacing there. You can use the browser inspect tools, right click and inspect, and that displays my icon heading class and also the UI kit UK icon medium. You can see it's adjusting the font size for the icon to 200% and this vertical align value is what's allowing that text to center with the icon. I'll copy that code and insert it next to each of the headings and then it would just be a matter of changing those icons to something other than the pencil to get a different icon in each box. Next, I'll add a small icon to the left of the Read More link. 
I've wrapped this whole text in a paragraph tag and added a class of read more and I am just decreasing the font size there to make that text a little smaller and then there is the icon and I'm using an icon called angle double right and I'm giving it the icon heading class as well and then the whole thing is in a, an anchor link tag so there you see the styled read more versus the unstyled just with the small icon there and again I can just copy that over to each of the boxes so there we have all four read more links styled you've probably noticed that these panels are different heights it looks a bit awkward and kind of amateurish but I can easily fix that you want to go to the div that has the UK grid class and you need to add a data attribute to that element that's the data UK grid match attribute and it should equal inside close the target UK panel meaning that it's going to match the panel heights in that row and there we see the heights aligning matching height at the medium width as well it would be nice to have some spacing between those when they start to stack for that we can add the data attribute data UK grid margin and that gives us that vertical margin between the panels this class UK panel box primary styles the panel with the primary color you don't have to use the UK panel box primary hover but if you do you can add some styling on on hover if we open the CSS file the unminified version so I'm using the almost flat and I'm just going to search for this class to see to show you what the default styling is not really sure why they did this because the UK panel box primary and the hover have the exact same color so you really don't notice anything when when you hover over that so what I did was add my own style to that UK panel box primary hover I added a different background color and border color so now you see when I hover over the panels you see that more visible coloring there